unboxing ourselves here a little humidifier link will be in the description below this is how it came that was kind of rough it came really quick for me. That was nice. it's the winter time and i already have a dehumidifier that i've done a review on but now it's time for a humidifier to keep everything kosher and if you have wood stuff in your house wood or you get nosebleeds you need one of these babies so in the pictures it looks a lot taller when it came in i'm like oh my gosh it's so cute um but all i need is to do the job so this is model lcd i think it does have an lcd right there mh2303 again the link will be in the description below looks like i can email them japan or u.s cool and warm mist humidifier and we also it said on the thing on the instructions that you can oh, oh my gosh americans actually below we're actually going to test that the 130 watts and we're going to check how many amps it is um so it's the same thing up here nice little box very basic Again, link will be in the description below. My house is a little over 800 square feet. I think this is rated at 800, but uh, our house only needs to go up about 15%, so it's not doing too much. I gotta get you guys up higher. Okay, nice styrofoam packing. Am I supposed to pull that out first? Oh, I grabbed that, okay. That pulls the entire thing out. Nothing else in the box. That was nice. They gave you a handle instead of you trying to grab on the sides and not being able to open it. I hate that. This is empty of all uh -oh. accessories. No accessories on that piece of foam. I just did an unboxing on a TV. Not unboxing. I unboxed somebody's TV on Black Friday. And uh, the remotes were inside the styrofoam, and I couldn't find the remote. There we go. I'm so glad that it's a bit taller than what that box was. Looks like it's going to have a water gauge on the side. That's pretty nice. Max is right there. We're not going to be measuring out how much water it holds. I'm just going to pour some water in it, see what it does. Just looking at the quality Phillips screwdrivers for the bottom I don't have to assemble anything with screwdrivers yet it's pretty nice it does have a finish where it probably gets scratched if a lot of stuff was going around it but it's very nice if it doesn't get scratched very nice look okay what is all this stuff oh a pump goes down into it I didn't they don't show you much about how it functions before you add water, please remove the packing material from the pump. Do not pour water into the mist outlet. Assuming that's the mist outlet. Need to wait 50 to generate. It takes 60 seconds to create mist. Please do not exceed the maximum fill level. Very nice big display. Um... Weird stuff on it. I wish it had a tear off because I really don't know what that crap is that's on the display. Power button, min max, humidity timer, sleep, child lock, warm, and light. On the bot. Whoops! I did not mean to do that. How was I supposed to know I did that? What a contraption. I like when stuff looks brand new. Sorry for the noise in the background. I decided to do this right when my vacuum started. It's saying that that's the outlet down there. Over to the left. Looks like there's something on this. If you guys can see down there, it kind of looks like something's on that. I don't know, I'm going to leave it alone. I think that's a float switch, actually. Yeah, that's a float switch, okay. There's a little... Just through my glasses. <laughs> what a review. Uh, if you guys can see down in there, there's this little ring right there. That's a flotation, so when it floats up, it knows it's full. When it goes to the bottom, it automatically shuts off, which will probably save this little pump. What a cute little pump. 
Now it is a pump that can be replaced if you know what number it is. Nice little hose, flexi hose. Sorry, I'm just rambling on. What's this? No water, no tear apart. Did this, what is this on there? Essential oil tray. Oh! Okay, put two to five drops of oil on the pad. Comes clear out, I like that. Only two to five drops. Wow. I do have some of that, and I'm going to be putting it in there to try it out. Looks like it kind of comes up here. Comes out this little hole. And there's so much to this. There is no filter, though, which is a dream. If you guys have ever owned humidifiers, the filter. Oh, my God. But does that mean that this is going to plug up somewhere? I don't know. There's no fan. The fan must... I know it's a hot, but it also says cool, which means there's a fan somewhere. I can't describe what all this is. I'm just going to put this back in there. <laughs> and put this on there. Make sure I get the stuff off the pump, it said. Is that going to go clear down in there? Because clear down in the bottom. Doesn't look like there's a holder spot for it. And I'm just going to put this up with that in there. Oh yeah, it has a nice look to it. I was just seeing there's a black one I'm pretty sure of. Okay, so that, I don't have a tape measure, so I can't really tell you how tall it is. Okay. I'm just looking at how it spins around. Such a little hole. It's all right though. That's gonna, okay, let's just follow its path. It's gonna go through there. Down into, okay, so that's gonna pump it straight down into the bottom tank. Then the pump is going to pump up through that little hole that's right there and fill this up. That looks like I don't know what that is, but then that is, must be where it heats up the water, because it says it's hot too. Okay, so we can't see any of that. That looks like almost a drain. Okay, so let's not make it too complex. Let's just pour some water in and see what it does. Just way different than any st style I've ever seen, especially not having a filter. Okay, let's pour some water in this until it's Christmas time. Uh, let's pour some water in it, see what it does. It's got a big hole for water. I'm just using a thing that we put lemonade in. I doubt if this is too much water, but I better check. Looks like I can fill it while it's running because this is separate. That right there was four liters, so that's a gallon. You guys can see it off to the side. That's one gallon. I'm gonna shut that and see where it went on the. It's right at the bottom. I think it said like how many liters it was, but uh, it's right there. It should be enough to work. So let's go ahead and plug it in. I'm going to go ahead and tell you guys what the stats are on this over here. Actually, we're not even ready for that, are we? There is a filter. <laughs> I forgot there was a whole thing right here. Now I've already poured water in it. We have a filter. Or a, look at that, three-stage filter. That's cool. I like that. I hope I wasn't supposed to put them in spots where I cannot now. Nice little brush. We have a remote. Looks like it. I feel the physical. Oh yeah, that feels like a really nice, uh, really responsive. It doesn't feel like one of them cheapos you get with your LED lights. I like that. Pulled the plug on it. Or pulled the thing on it. These 
wonder where you get this. Where you get refills and new stuff for that. Most likely from their website. Cleaning absorption. Oh, that pod goes down in there. Okay. Okay, so it says you can clean it. So these, maybe you can buy some more now that they're available somewhere, but these can be cleaned, so don't throw them away. Does this front pull off? Okay, so that puts water all over the floor. That goes, looks like it doesn't matter how it goes in there, but you see this little spot right here? Oh, there's already water up here. Do I have to put two in there or one? Doesn't fit very well. It's kind of crunched. It's in there. See how it's kind of crunched? Okay, so we did that. Let's go ahead and read cleaning. Mineral buildup scale inside the humidifier. That is the heating element. Just rinse it with water. Okay. What's that one? That one shows. Oh, it's in a different language. It's got even a different picture. Oh, I guess it's the same picture, but I'm sure that's the pad they're talking about. This other thing. Since it looks like a three stage, it's got to be a filter we put in somewhere. Okay, safety guide. Water tank control panel. Main body, water outlet. It's telling me everything I just had to figure. Water overflow port. Okay, that's good to know. Fan outlet. There is a fan. I knew it. Just can't find it. It's so concealed. 50 centimeters clear around. Pour water in it like that. Drips right there. Humidity on and off. Light mode. Does not say where to put that filter. Oh. Unbody. Cleaning absorption pad. I already know that. So there is no filter. It's saying it's a 2.1 gallon. Looks about right. 2.1. Decimal is 35. It's saying 130 watts on warm and 25 on cool. High, low, medium. I probably went through that too quick, but there wasn't anything that really stuck out. So this looks like a three-stage filter, but really it's just a cleaning pad. So the middle is not a stage, it's just to keep the pad together. Okay, I'm going to plug her in. Never even said what this box was for, or where to put that box. Yeah, there's not really a place to put that box. Is there like a clamp somewhere? That may be for the humidity and all that, but it looks like it clamps onto something, but there's nothing. Does it clamp onto this? No, I think I'd break it putting that in there. Okay, let's go ahead and plug it in after I put the top on. Plug her in. On idle. Half a watt. Well, yeah, 0.5 watt. That 0.3, but let's see if the touch screen works good. 68 degrees. I heard the pump kick on. And the water level is not. Holy cow, did you guys see how quick it started working? Holy cow, I gotta turn it the other way. It it's instant. That's warm mist, which means it's using a heater to pump it out, which means it uses the water super quickly. That's awesome. You just want to do a room for a day. Wow, that was quick. It said near 40 seconds. That's not 40, 60 seconds. Let's pull that off, see if it keeps working. Yeah, it keeps working. Pretty wild down in there. Okay. Let's see what other things it has. Humidity. Humidity. 
Humidity goes clear up to... Let's lower you guys down so you can see what I'm doing. The 36 humidity right now. All my other gauges are saying we're around 40 right now, but maybe it hasn't fully adjusted. 75. Can we get over 75? We can make it 95% humidity, and the lowest it'll kick on is 45. Max. Minimum max on water. So if we turn this down, will it not put out so much? Yep, check that out. Can you see it? Hopefully you guys can see it. See, it's just putting out a little water or a little mist. All my other reviews are in the background. My items, doing them all at once. A little bit more. And then the setting, it was on. Three. Look at that. I got a coal plant. Okay. It's embarrassing if you guys can still see. So let's uh, let's do it down to two. I can do all this. Power button. Can we shut off the warm and make it cold? Oh, now it's going on warm? I have to look that up. What that setting is. I just adjusted. Stare at that for a little bit. Humidity night light. Okay, warm. Press the button to activate the warm function. Let's sleep. The humidifier may take up to 15 minutes to warm up to warm mist. That's not warm mist? Cool mist, you normally don't see it. Let's see how many watts it's using. 120. Turn 20, let's see how many amps it's using. Amps. One amp. Only one amp. That's not too bad. Heater L must, must be really slow. It spiked at 240 watts. I don't know if that's when I turned that on at first. It says there's a nightlight. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Can I do that with this? Does that not look cool or what? Even in there. I like that. Now, with that shooting out that much mist, you're going to want to watch putting it around electronics. Um, I'm, I don't think I've ever seen a cool mist that put it out like that. Normally, the hot mist. Hot mist basically boils the water. Cool mist just kind of sucks it into your atmosphere with a fan. So, this thing's doing something a lot funkier, which is cool. Sleep mode shuts off the screen, but is it still working? Yes, it is. That's pretty nice. Can I turn the light on with that? Light on, but sleep mode. Oh, yeah, I like that. Does it use more power with that light on? One more watt, but looks cool. Yeah, I'll shut that off so you guys can see it. Look at that. That is cool. And it glows the tank a little bit. Super neat. Love it. Okay. Let's turn the light back on. So it's 68 degrees in here. That is pretty cool. I can. Sh I don't really want to shut the warm part off because I want to. It's slowly going up, so it must be a really slow heater. Let's type max this thing out on humid. Not that button. There. Let's pump it out hardcore. And I have a diffuser. Isn't that, is that what it's called? I'm not really into that kind of stuff, but. Two to five drops in that. And that's engineered well. It's all curved and everything. Let's go ahead and I got this manly smell, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. That's not my smell. Two to five drops. I think you have to undo it first. I think I have some in here. I thought you like pour the whole container in there. So this is a little cute one. Pineapple, is that what it's called? Pink pineapple. This one has been opened. That's not what I wanted in there. One, two, three, four, 
five. Looks like it just kind of soaks in there. That's nice. I'm gonna go ahead and slide this in. This smells really good. Just gonna slide it in. I don't think I gotta show you guys that. Took it well. Oh, what did it do? Did it shut off? Oh, when I stand up, I can't see it. The mist has changed to a different style of mist now. I'll let it do it for a little bit longer and then show you guys what I mean. The mist is actually starting to build up up there. It wasn't doing that earlier. So that's pretty cool. Stay tuned. I do reviews after six months. If it fails, which I don't think this is going to fail. This is pretty cool. It takes up no space at all. Brilliant. Thanks for watching. Again, the link will be in the description below. And I think there's a sale going on right now. About 35% off. Thanks for watching. I am back for two seconds. I'm actually an hour before I made this video, I looked at the humidity. And since that hour, I told you earlier, it was at 40% in my house. It's actually gone to 33% in my house. So I don't have one in this room, but 32, spot on. I don't know how my house dropped so quickly, but it did. I've been running it for an hour and I love this thing. It's so small, compact. Um, it puts out plenty of air for that little hole right there. Um, it's it's awesome i actually sent it to my sister i was like do you remember as a kid them ucky filters I'm not saying this won't get ucky on the inside somewhere but uh no they make them so sleek and i don't mind having this right in my living room uh i don't think it'd be too much of an eyesore just gotta watch where you put it with all this uh moisture coming out of here again thanks for watching and link will be in the description below Didn't mean to do that. <laughs> awesome product. It's actually working while I'm filling it. I don't have to take it apart or nothing. Yeah.